People all across the country and right here in Oregon are starting to see those free COVID-19 test kits arriving in their mailboxes sent from the federal government. Yeah, people in Washington are also getting a few extra test kits thanks to a statewide program announced by the governor. Now, once you get your test, how exactly do you, do you use it properly? Fox 12's Connor McCarthy spoke with the chief of infectious disease at Kaiser Permanente and joins us now live in North Portland with that answer. Connor? Well, Pete and Bonnie, right here behind me is the testing site here at the Expo Center. As you can see, there's a line that has started to form since the 4 o'clock show. But, you know, this right here in my hand it is one of those tests that the federal government has mailed home to people around the country. And, you know, President Biden said that these tests will help prevent lines like these and also that scramble we saw to get tests at the beginning of the Omicron surge. But Dr. Scharf from Kaiser Permanente say that, you know, these tests do have their limitations. After weeks of reassurances from President Biden, free at-home COVID-19 tests started arriving in mailboxes Monday. I would encourage people to use them. I think access will only increase, you know, but use them with some common sense. Dr. Katie Scharf is Chief of Infectious Disease at Kaiser Permanente, and she says these antigen tests are great, but that's only if you are experiencing symptoms. You should go ahead and isolate um, at home and then go ahead and take your test maybe wait till, you know, day two of your illness um, just to try and improve the sensitivity of the test. She says antigen tests like this one are 70% accurate in detecting the virus, but they only detect your viral load. So the higher the viral load, the more accurate it will be. It's gonna be much better if you're symptomatic, but if you're asymptomatic or really early in your illness, it may not be um, as sensitive. Dr. Scharf says if you do test positive at home, you do not need to take a PCR test to confirm that you have the virus. A positive test is what we consider a true positive. So right now with the amount of COVID illness in the community, if you test positive, you have COVID. You are also not required to report your positive test to your county health department or the Oregon Health Authority. If you don't have symptoms and want to screen yourself for COVID, Dr. Scharf says these at-home tests are probably not the best option. She compared it to flipping a coin. That's when you want to schedule a more accurate PCR test appointment. Testing is not a substitute for being fully vaccinated and boosted. And so, you know, it's great that we have increased availability of testing, uh, but, you know, being vaccinated and fully boosted is, is still the gold standard and, and I would encourage it and testing is not a substitute for, for that level of protection. And Pete and Bonnie, you know, all these tests are arriving in mailboxes across the country as some portions of the country are starting to see a dip in the Omicron surge. But, you know, here in Oregon, according to the latest OHSU model, we haven't hit our peak yet. So, you know, these tests arriving, you know, it's better late than never. Live in North Portland, Connor McCarthy, Fox 12 Oregon.